Hi friends, today's video we are going to enable social login like Facebook, Google for our WooCommerce website. So just go to the plugin section and click on add new. And you can install a free plugin next time social login and register. This plugin is for the default wordpress website and not for the woocommerce so if you need the woocommerce login and register you need a premium plugin there which is the pro version of this plugin so just upload that plugin the link for the plugin i will give in the description box below so you can get it from there and just upload the plugin and install now once you activate the plugin you can go to the plugin settings go to the plugin settings here and uh, facebook google twitter etc a lot of social media options are available so we are just enabling google and facebook so you can get all the instructions here so first you need to go to the developer console of google console.developer.com and you can click on my first project or if you have another project then you can choose a new project and click on new project and give a project name and click on create Once you create the project, you can see on the notification area, now you can select the project here, click on select project, then go to the all consent screen option and here you can click on external and click on create and you can give a app name which means your website name and you can add a logo and the domain name home page and your privacy policy terms of service links etc then you can give your domain name if you are using a subdomain use the main domain here and if you are using for the subdomain also no problem you can just add your main domain once you have everything done just click on save and this is the next window of scopes here just click on save and continue click on save and continue once you have done everything you can go to your dashboard and publish app and just click on confirm once you have done that go to the credentials area click on create credentials click on client id here you can choose your application type if you are using for your website then choose the web application and the client name you can add any client name here if you have your website name is probably better then the redirect url should be you can watch it on the plugin settings area itself so you can just copy and paste it on the redirect url area and just click on create and now you will get the client id and client secret just copy and paste it on the plugin and it's a simple settings for the WooCommerce social login. Just paste the uh, client ID and client secret, right? And click on save changes. And now you can just click on the verify settings. Click on the verify settings. Once you verified, just click on enable. You can see a window like this. If 
you can see a window like this you can just enable this okay now you can set up all the buttons global settings etc you can change the layout and everything here you can see the WooCommerce button styles login layout register form etc you can choose whatever things you need you can just enable that once you've done that you can see your social login page is active with the google now we can set up the facebook also for this and you can see everything works perfect now go to the facebook area and you can see all instructions here now go to the developer.facebook.com slash app and here create a new app and select consumer click on next and here you can add your app name email address etc and now you will get a window like this for your app click here facebook login and set up now you can select web from this option and you can type your home url and click on save and click on continue and click on next next and once everything done you can just go to the settings area make sure this client login and web login should be enabled all this login should be enabled now you can just copy this redirect url which is available on the plugin settings you can just paste that redirect url and click on save changes now go to the main settings and click on basic area here you can see your app id and app secret and you can remain fill all these things like app icon and all your links like privacy policy and all these links and click on live from uh, app mode live you can select that app mode development to live and you can see our app is now live and now you can just copy your app id and app secret and paste it on the plugin settings go to the plugin settings and paste the app id and app secret there Click on save changes. And you can see a window like this. Just click on verify settings. And if everything works fine, you can see a message like this. And you can enable the Facebook login. Okay guys, now we are set up all these things. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel.